pages of the oven, beyond gravel. I made you some cinnamon rolls. Hey, I made you cinnamon rolls. I made you cinnamon rolls! <laughs> morning friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new as you see today we're gonna to be doing a work with me slash behind the scenes of a small business owner work from home Etsy shop business owner so that's what we're gonna be doing today it is the first of the week that was my dog <laughs> it is the first of the week so it is kind of like getting started with everything and you know getting all the orders kind of prepared and ready and we're gonna be going out to the shop and cutting some wood and just doing all the things today. So as you see this morning, we got up and got the kids ready for school, packed lunches, took them to school, and it's kind of a little bit of a hectic morning. Um, the beginning of the week always is, but my daughter, um, as she was getting out, like the bell rang and luckily they were still letting kids in and she forgot her lunchbox and luckily I saw it in the back seat and I was like, oh. So I flipped around and then went into the front of the school, dropped her lunchbox off. Hopefully they got it to her because I know she'll be very like worried if she notices her lunchbox is gone out of her backpack. So this morning's been a little bit crazy. We were running a little bit late, but we got it done. Um, my husband normally helps a lot with the shop. But today he won't be here until about 12-ish. It's 9.30 right now. So he'll be here around that time so he can kind of help get started with some of the woodworking and different things that we gotta do. But it is me this morning, so that is what I'm gonna be doing. And I'm gonna have to spend probably the next hour or so just kind of fine tuning my computer work. I normally get all of that done like on Sundays, finish like the work for the week and getting things ready to go out to the shop. But I didn't finish all of it that I wanted to get done. So I'm gonna have to get all of that kind of going this morning a little bit before I head outside. So as you see, I always like to take some time to kind of like wind down and relax a little bit before the craziness of the day. As you see here, I was reading. I'm trying to do the reading the Bible in six months. So that is what I'm doing for the start of this year. Um, I've read a lot of different parts of the Bible, but never like fully all of it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm reading it in six months. I'll let you know how that goes, but I'm definitely gonna take the time and do that in the morning. So. Yeah, so that's what's going on this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and get going with my computer work so we can get out to the shop and get going while the kids are in school. I know I had a lot of people curious on kind of the nitty gritty behind the scenes, like family life, like what do you do throughout the day? So I'm gonna try and include you guys more in that today. So we will see how it goes, but computer work and then we'll head outside. So let's get to it. <laughs> So if you're curious on what computer work entails, it's basically anything and everything that I'm doing on the computer. So responding to emails, responding to Etsy messages, getting all of the orders that were processed and that are ready designed. So the font choices, um, making a document of all of the stain colors and the font colors and everything laid out. So that way when we go outside, everything's organized in this software 
If you're new to this channel, we make a lot of laser cut items and woodworking items. So I use Lightburn as the software for that. So that's what software I'm using and getting everything together. So that's what I'm doing now is all of the computer work and the nitty gritty and the fun stuff. <laughs> So I got done with the computer work that I wanted to get done for today. We do have more orders, but I'll break that up into later parts of the week. So up here is all of the backers. And a lot of you have asked how I know how to line up my letters. And I do a slight inset. It's not an offset, it's an inset. So it kind of goes smaller than the letters actually are. And it outlines it inside of the backers. So I know exactly where to place my letters. So that is right there. And then um, down here is some stuff we have to engrave and line up. And then over here are some of the colors that we have separated that I need to go spray paint. So that part's done and I just got my emails done as well. So yesterday, John and I tried a new recipe for lunch and it was so good. So I wanted to show y'all because we're going to make it again today. Um, it's kind of a viral sub sandwich. I saw it's like all over the internet right now. So I wanted to go ahead and try it. And we just did kind of our own spin on it. But um, you'll just need provolone cheese, two different types of lunch meat. And we did the pepperonis, like the bigger ones, and ham from the deli. And then lettuce, tomato, banana peppers red wine vinegar, some kind of uh, sub bread or some kind of bread you want to use, mayonnaise, and then we have um, oregano, salt, garlic powder, and pepper. Uh, and it seems like a lot, but it's really not too bad to put together and it's so good. It tastes better than any kind of sub you would get at like a restaurant. So we're going to go ahead and throw that together now. So John's home, everybody. He got I home got, a little early today. I got ham. I got pepperoni. I got cheese. And I got mayonnaise. Y'all back away so we can enjoy our meal now. <laughs> okay, so as y'all see, John is home and we're going to eat. And we always eat the things that the kids don't like when they're not here. Because I, they I hate like they would like this. subs. I feel like they would like that. So that's why we usually eat, you know, lunches like this. But John's going to be my uh, a master chef since apparently he's a... Sous chef John. When we were dating, he would always say, All right, listen, I've been in culinary arts for five years. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just don't put a teaspoon, just let me do it my taste. Oh gosh. So what we're doing now is we are adding our ingredients into our lettuce mixture. As you can tell, we're definitely on professional chefs over here. So that nothing measure with your heart. No, a little bit more. It had a whole teaspoon of that yesterday. So yesterday we had less lettuce, or more lettuce. So we have less that's this time. Good. Yeah, that's probably good. And then garlic powder was only a you teaspoon. Don't use a lot so. of All right, now we're gonna add in our banana peppers. Is it called aluminum foil or tin foil? John, which one is it? I don't know, I call it whatever I feel like calling it. I call it uh, tin foil most of the time, tin foil. John's cutting our Italian loaf in half. This is John's plate, but look how good it looks. It's really yummy. It's one of those days where it feels good in the sun, and then when you get in shade or in the garage, it's freezing, so. Barney purple jacket it is. So now I'm gonna get the lasers turned on, and we're gonna get the shop all set up to get started for the day.
my little sweetie's home. We're waiting in the parking lot to pick up her sister, right? So we gotta wait for a little bit and then it is time to go home, right? What are you gonna eat for snack? Doritos. Doritos? Yeah. How about an apple? <laughs> All right, so I have everything organized by what color it needs to be stained with the stain sitting in front of each group. So that's what we're gonna do next is get these signs stained. Good, Haley. Everybody. as you see it is now the next day and you're like wait Sally why did it end so abruptly yesterday I thought you were gonna get all this stuff done and I thought so too so you guys know life things can happen you might have to stop sometimes and pay more attention to other things vice versa it's the beauty of working from home sometimes you just have to shift so I started staining yesterday and my camera died and then a bunch of other stuff happened and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna finish tomorrow because luckily I'm ahead on orders. Now, if I had to get the orders out today, I would like rush and get them done. But luckily I've gotten in a good routine where these orders don't have to get done for a couple days. So I'm finishing it all today. So that's what the plan is. I'm gonna go outside and get finished with staining. I went ahead and made my to-do list. If you guys are ever struggling with being discombobulated and not knowing what you're supposed to be doing every day. <laughs> Make to-do lists, they help me so much. I'll just sit down and take that extra just few minutes and just jot down what I need to get done. So I know exactly what needs to get done today. So I'm gonna go out there and start checking things off my to-do list. I have it marked kind of in order what I need to get done in order. So that's what I'm gonna do today. The kids are off to school. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I got a bunch of stuff done this morning that I needed to get done on the computer that I did not, I had mock-ups, I had to respond to customers. I just had a bunch of things I needed to get done. So that's all done. And now we're about to head outside and get stuff done. I need to take the dogs out, but FedEx is supposed to come and deliver something that I ordered. So I'm always kind of worried about taking them out. We still haven't gotten our fence installed yet. Need to get that done. My husband is planning on doing that soon. So when we take the dogs out, I have to be really like mindful of what time we're getting deliveries because that's the one thing that our dogs don't like is deliveries. They don't like the UPS or FedEx. None of them, I have to say it quiet because they know the word now, um, but they just don't like delivery people. I think it, the, the whole thing is, is because the delivery folks are coming and they typically run and they're running and dropping things off and running away. And I think that Jack, especially our oldest dog, thinks that he's um, protecting us and scaring them away. <laughs> so I'm always a little scared to take them out by myself whenever we have a delivery coming, just because I know that they would probably chase them. And I know that they would never hurt anybody, but they would definitely chase them off our property probably. <laughs> so I need to take them out and then I'm gonna get to work and yeah, so hope you guys are having a great day. Hopefully we can get a lot done today.
Okay, so I got a lot more done than I showed. I kind of get in the zone sometimes and don't pull the camera out. So as you see, I stained all of the signs. All of those are drying completely. I spray painted all of the pieces that needed to be spray painted. And now those were drying and then I got the second coat on. I usually sand in between. So once that first coat's dry, I sand it really good. And then spray paint the final coat of spray paint on those. So those are over on the shelves drying. So at this point, I can't do anything else until my um, spray painted boards are dry. And then I'm gonna go and cut the letters out. So that's what I've been doing lately is I spray paint the boards and then I cut the letters out after the spray painted. That's just easier and more efficient for me and my business. So that is what I'm doing. And yeah, so I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna get some cleaning done because I like to try and get squeeze in what I can when the kids are not here. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go do right now. Okay, so inside, oh. Hello, Leo. Oh my goodness, hello, hello, hello. All right, so we have about an hour exact until I have to go get the girls. So I'm gonna do some of like my nightly chores now so I can get that done. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the dishes and get the floor vacuumed and just like things like that so I don't have to do it later. So that way when I get the girls, I can finish up what I need to finish up and then I can do the rest of my work inside um, while the kids are home. So that'll be good. Um, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, how we've been doing things lately is I'll bring everything inside and I will glue everything basically in my kitchen. We are still planning on getting a shop built soon. I just have to kind of figure out where and all that and all like the little details. It just needs to be done because we are like tired of having to bring everything in here, work inside, take everything out. And it's just like so much back and forth and it's hard to live around your work. And I kind of want to separate work from home life as much as possible. So let's go ahead and get these chores done.
Well, here's the damage of the storm last night. Yeah. Our trampoline flew from far over. Yeah. And I think it's ruined. It's very bad, guys. Oh, cool. Very bad. Yeah, I think it might be done for. Let's see if we can find any paint on this. All right, so we are on our way to town to go to UPS this morning. We have the little one here today. She's out of school. It's like a teacher in service day. We have John here. John, say hello. Hi, guys. But yeah, we're headed to town and we're going to go get dog food. And where else are we going? Dog food, that's it. Dog food and UPS I and want, post office. We have I want to see the cat. The cat? Oh, no, honey. <laughs> Every time we go to PetSmart, um, <laughs> she, she does this. like a baby? She doesn't want to go. She wants to go look at the kitty cats. We can't ever get a cat, can we? Why can't we get a cat? Say the main reason. I want a cat. No, no. but why can't we get a cat? I'm allergic to cats. Daddy's allergic to cats. Because I want it so bad that I want to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, we can't have cats because Daddy's allergic and because the dogs would probably well, can't be allergic. not like that. Are we going to go get some pizza? Yeah. Yes. And then what kind? Caroline, what's your order for pizza? Meat, cheese, pepperoni, just crust. And just crust? What? What kind of pizza? What kind of crust does daddy like? Thin crust. Yeah, he likes thin crust. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Sam's because we got to get Haley some peanut butter because Haley's been into baking lately. No. Yeah, and the recipe that she wants. She Jake, wants can peanut I butter. make something? Because I never make Someone's feisty today. She didn't want to leave the cats either. All right, let's go to Sam's and then we'll go yeah. get our pizza. Oh, water, this place is crowded today. So we always come to Sam's saying we only needed what? Peanut butter and bubble wrap? And as you see here, who else does that? Because I do it every single time. Okay, so we just got done at Sam's. As y'all saw, I was saying, we only thought we needed a couple things, but once we got there, we realized we were out of a lot of stuff, and we ended up getting our pizza here. If you guys have never had Sam's Club pizza, it's so good. Um, and it's only like, what, $8 or something, $9? So, yeah, okay, I'll get you your water. And um, yeah, so we are headed home now. We got our bubble wrap, and we got everything that we needed from Sam's. All right, you guys, so as y'all see, we just got home, settled in a little bit, and I think John is about to go ahead and get Haley, our oldest daughter, from school. She was not out today like our youngest was, so he's going to go get her, and in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get a head start on computer work and designing our orders that we have open right now. That's kind of what we've been doing, just working in batches throughout the week, just doing whatever we have in the beginning of the week, in the beginning of the week, and then later on, we'll finish the other part of it, so... That's how we've been working. I think we have like 30 open orders right now that I need to get started on in designing and respond to customers and do all that fun stuff. And then we're going to do the same thing again tomorrow. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun taking y'all along with me. My goal for this year, and I definitely have not started it yet, but it's okay, you guys. It's goals are good to have no matter what time of the year it is. You don't have to start on January 1st. But my goal for this year is to be way more consistent here on YouTube. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers, you guys. I cannot believe it. It should be really within uh, very soon. We should be hitting it. So I'm so, so thankful. So stay tuned for a lot of fun, exciting things coming up here. I am going to try and be posting at least two videos a week. That is in the works. And I have a long list of video ideas that I'm going to be creating for y'all. So stay tuned for that. But I just cannot believe we're there. And I'm definitely planning a big giveaway for 100,000 subscribers. So that's going to be something that I'm going to be doing here soon too. So keep a lookout for that. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you love these kind of videos, please give this a thumbs up so I know. And comment down below if you guys have any other videos that you guys want to see coming up this year. And yeah, a lot of exciting things. I can't wait to share more with y'all. But I guess I'll talk to y'all in the next one, which will be very soon. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone.